Okay. I'm going to reinstall the rear sway bar on this UDR today. Uh, this is my second attempt because the first attempt was foiled by the lack of them actually having a a torsion bar in in the package. And I'll put a little clip of me realizing it. I don't know how I didn't realize it when I first got the stuff and didn't realize that this piece wasn't in the actual packaging. Just noticing my kit doesn't actually have the torsion bar in it. Uh, kind of amusing now that you think about it but uh, I'm gonna pop this baby in today and, and and see how it works okay I went ahead and took the wheels off off camera because pretty sure most of you guys can get the wheels off without any instructions whatsoever uh, some of the things you'll need are obviously your basic tools for working on any tracks as they're all the same um, the kit comes with a drill bit because you have to ream out the hole for the new torsion bar which is much thicker uh, in case anybody's interested this is the part number here from hot racing uh, I got all my parts laid out Loctite, Loctite, Loctite alright so I instead of taking these discs off every single time to move these torsion bars around or do any other kind of work on it I just put a hole in the disc right there with the drill bit so I can get the screw down driver down in there makes my life a little easier let's get these parts off you gotta pull this screw completely out because it actually is notched and goes through that bar a little bit inside of there Nothing wrong with these, so I'm going to hold on to them. So I put the screws right back where they belong. I'm going to reuse those screws because they're stainless. Hot Racing does supply you guys some screws. But because some of the screws I'm using on here I've already replaced with stainless steel ones I just go ahead and replace those and leave those this should just pull right out of here there it is good oh. alright first things first let's drill holes all we're doing is we're reaming out these holes for the torsion bar here. Bye bye horsey. BJ stay. Both sides. Make sure we get the right sides. Obviously, hot racing pointing up. This is going to rest on here. It's all said and done. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these parts on first. There's no writing or anything on them. They look like they're going the same direction. Got a couple of different uh, settings here, as you can see. I'm just going to line it up and see about where it would have been originally. Originally it looks like they would have been in about the middle, the middle holes. So that's what I'm going to go with, the middle holes. Washer. Loctite. 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 Very helpful. Tight. I'm gonna snug it down with the this 
one. There we go. Alright, let's put them both together, huh? and put the set screws in now. Lock tight on the set screw. Let's get it started. Takes about 24 hours for the Loctite to actually set up, so putting it on early like this and letting it sit is not going to hurt you at all. Huh, bud? Make sure you got the right side, make sure everything lines up nice. Get your torsion bar on. Obviously, there's a, there's a flat side there where your set screw is going to set. I'm going to run it flush for now. If there's any adjustments afterwards that need to be done, that's what I will do. If you're like me and you're unprepared without a rag, using your t-shirt to get rid of the extra Loctite works out very nicely. Slide yourself down in there. Set up in the other end. It's nice and snug. That drill bit they give you is a perfect size. Back in your stock mounting position here. Again, Hot Racing does supply you here with another screw for here to replace the one that was there, but I was already using some. Uh, some stainless steel ones, so. I just had a bunch of stainless steel screws left over from another build that I did, and a lot of the sizes matched up with these, so therefore I used them. And it's pretty sharp. Second one up and running. Make sure you get your flat side lined up with your set screw. Hold it flush. It moved. There we go. Get a good tightening. Don't forget your Loctite. 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 go one sway bar kit installed looks beautiful hopefully that nice big thick torsion bar is gonna make a big difference compared to the stock one I mean the stock one is, is just cheesy I mean this one was even already bent from me using it so I, uh, that's another reason to replace it it's just it's, compared to what I just put on there that's a huge difference and I'm sure that I'll be able to tell the difference so I'm gonna let everything set up for a few minutes charge up some batteries take this thing outside hopefully this helps some people uh, obviously hot racing doesn't actually give you any directions to do it it's pretty basic and straightforward pretty simple um, 
but you know seeing a video and seeing somebody do it for the first time always helps a little bit so thanks guys like and subscribe uh another video coming soon talk to you then see you later